I'm just a couple of miles from a war zone, standing here in front of what used to be a hospital here in the Ukraine. I'm seeing the destruction that war has brought, destroyed homes, destroyed synagogues. What we're seeing is Jews fleeing from the four corners of the world to Israel. And here today, we're seeing that fulfillment of Jews coming from the land of the north. There's a human toll to war, to persecution, to anti-Semitism. And that toll Anna has experienced. World War II took away my childhood and took away my father because my father was shot by the Nazis and he died. And this war also took away her husband. I was hearing all these bombs and rockets blasting all around. A bomb hit their home. Her husband had a heart attack and died. Anna and her husband were planning to come to Israel, but they never made it there. There is no future for my children in this country. They cannot complete their studies, they cannot go to university, they cannot receive good profession here. And I am afraid to give any comments on anti-Jewish moods because I think that the consequences for me and my family may be frightening. These are Jewish refugees. For the first time since World War II, you have Jews who've had to flee their homes with nothing, just their shirts on their back. Look in their eyes. Try to grasp the history of suffering that many of them endured, including being survivors of the Holocaust. We're about to leave the Ukraine on our way to the Holy Land, to Israel. And what you see are faces of hope. I see not anguish. I see not tears of sadness, but tears of joy. On behalf of myself and the Jewish people, we say to Daraba, thank you. And I pray God's blessings on you and your loved ones. As the Bible says, God will bless those who bless his children Israel. And I can't think of a greater blessing that you have brought to the children of Israel than bringing God's children home. <laughs>